Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Vanessa. This entire week, I will be taking you guys through the dinners that I make as the week goes on. It is currently Tuesday and I just got back from being at home for the past week. So I'm back in my apartment now and I will be making dinner here. I will not, as far as I know, be eating out at all for the next week-ish. So um, I figured I would take you guys along with, show you how I prep and cook all of my dinners for the week. Dinners for me typically turn into leftovers, aka lunch for the next day. So I will just be showing you guys dinner and then you guys can just assume and I'm telling you straight up that I will be eating those leftovers for lunch the next day. And that's typically how I like to do it. I don't meal prep anymore just because I have the time to cook every night for the most part. So meal prepping isn't something that I do. However, I used to do that back in college when I would have jam-packed schedules. So meal prepping is definitely useful. Um, I would just prep a bunch of veggies, um, rice, things like that. I wasn't eating meat at the time, but now I would prep like chicken or something like that at the beginning of the week on like a Sunday. And then if I would need to prep anything else later on the, in the week, I would prep on like a Wednesday or Thursday and make like one or two extra meals that would carry me through the weekend. So today, um, it is Tuesday night. Like I said, it is around 7.30. I am just, I've had a very late start to my day with eating. So that is why I never eat dinner this late or start making dinner at least this late. So it is 7.30, typically never do this, but tonight I will be making chicken and asparagus. It is such a simple go-to for me. It tastes delicious. It is relatively healthy. It is in my opinion, it's overall quite healthy. The only extra thing that I add to it that's not necessarily the healthiest, quote unquote, is just vegan butter. I do a tablespoon of vegan butter just to give it an extra flavor. I do put lemon in the recipe so the butter helps balance out the sour taste. So that is what I will be making tonight. I had some chicken in the freezer and I took that out of the freezer and have been letting it thaw out for most of the day now. Um, and yeah, I will just prep the chicken first because it will take the longest to cook in a pan. So here, I have my pan here on my stove. I'm going to put this on for medium heat and I have a double burner so I'm going to put it on the double burner and then I'm going to do a little bit of olive oil in the pan typically I would use like avocado oil or something but avo or, um, olive oil works just fine and that's what I have currently open so I'm going to do that right now and the olive oil we'll just use as a base to cook the chicken, but then once we add in the asparagus, then later and the lemon, we'll put in the vegan butter as well. So as you can see, I have in the pan two large chicken breasts. Like I said, I'm going to cook this on medium heat. And to season the chicken, I am going to do a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm going to do a little bit of pink salt, a dash of tastefully simple seasoned salt, which is my absolute favorite seasoning and I put it on at absolutely everything. And then I'm going to add parsley flakes to the chicken. So now that this is all seasoned and ready to go, I am just going to put a piece of foil over it and let it cook away. I personally like to make sure that my chicken is very well done, not to the point where it's hard to like eat or break apart because it's so tough, um, but I like it to be very tender and well done to the point where like, 
you know it's done. I'm very skeptical about cooking chicken for whatever reason, and I'm so scared that it's never gonna be cooked all the way through, so I like to just make sure it's extra done so that I don't run into any issues. That is the one thing with eating meat again that I'm just skeptical about is undercooked meat. So I'm going to let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, probably closer to 15 minutes. Then I'm going to check up on it and we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash off my um, head of asparagus. I don't know if that's what you would call it. I'm going to wash this off and then I'm going to chop it into thirds. <laughs> Now that I have all of my asparagus chopped up, it is in the pan. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vegan butter. You can use real butter if you want. I prefer vegan butter and I like the brand Earth Balance. It is soy free or I use the soy free one. I think their other ones might have soy in it, but I use the soy free one. I'm just going to take a probably about a tablespoon of the vegan butter and then I'm going to take the juice of one lemon I originally turned off the heat while I was doing all all of the prep for that so that the chicken wouldn't get too overdone. So now I'm going to turn it back on to medium and I'm just going to add a little bit more pink salt and a little bit more parsley flakes. And in the meantime, while this cooks, I'm going to take probably about a fourth cup of halved walnuts and I'm going to piece them up into really fine pieces then once this gets done or closer to being done, I'm going to put the walnuts in. There you have it. This is the final result and it looks so, so good. It is now Wednesday evening. It is 6.40 and I am about to start prepping dinner. So for tonight, I am going to make turkey burgers and I am going to most likely do the turkey burgers over a big salad. That's kind of what I'm going for. I might boil some corn, some fresh corn off the cob as well. Actually, no, I won't. I'll save that. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna do the turkey burgers and then I'm going to make it over a big salad. You're not going to be able to see my face for the next few seconds, but basically I am just going to be chopping up some veggies that I'm going to put into the burgers. I'm just going to take, um, this is ground turkey that I just took out of the freezer. I got it from Wegmans. So while that defrosts, I think because it's kind of like a burger night, it's a little bit more of a summery meal that I'm having. Um, also, I realize that this part isn't healthy and I'm kind of making it healthy with, I mean, the turkey burgers are healthy, but I'm adding the salad. I realize beer isn't healthy in a sense, but I don't think having a drink here or there is really all that bad. So I think this is a good meal to have a nice beer with. So I'm going to pour um, a Trogues Haze Charmer into a glass and also enjoy that while I cook and then while I eat. And there you have it. So I have my turkey that is defrosted now I'm just going to take some shredded carrots. I bought these shredded, but you could always shred your own. So just save cleanup and time. I'm just going to take a handful of the shredded carrots and place that in the bowl. I'm going to dice these up finely and throw them into the mix as well. <laughs> Thank you.
that will add some really nice taste to it. Then I'm also going to take just a little bit of a jalapeno pepper and just about this much of a jalapeno and I'm going to dice this up very finely as well. just a little bit of red onion and throw this into the mix. And lastly, for the ingredients um, or veggies or whatever, we are going to take some garlic. I usually buy freshly peeled garlic, but I got the clove this time, or not the clove, I just got like the full thing this time. So now that we have our little mixture here, I am going to take this and I'm going to put in some pink Himalayan sea salt, some fresh cracked a little bit of black pepper, some everything but the bagel seasoning, a dash of tastefully simple season salt. Then with freshly washed hands, I'm just going to mix this all together. Then over here on medium heat, I'm going to take some olive oil and I'm going to bring over my patty mix here. I'm just going to roll them out into patties and place them on the, the stove here. <laughs> Perfect, this made two, four, six patties. So I'm just going to put up the heat up just a tad and then cover it with foil and let them cook. Burgers are looking good. I just flipped them on the grill. They should be done in about five minutes. I'm going to prepare the salad in the meantime though. So I'm just going to take some romaine lettuce. And then I'm also going to throw some spring mix into the mix just to give it more of a hearty greens taste. And then also to give it a little bit of freshness, I'm going to chop up some heirloom tomatoes. For dressing, I'm going to put the dressing on before I do um, before I do the, what am I trying to say here? The burgers on top. So I'm going to do just a little bit of olive oil or a lot in that sense, just a little bit. Also going to add some balsamic vinegar on top and just a tad bit of that too. Mix it all together so that the dressing is equally dispersed. And there you have it. A nice, hearty, healthy meal with a side of goodness on the side. <laughs> so I'm going to eat this and I will talk to you guys tomorrow night. Today is now Thursday night, so welcome to the next day. I have a friend coming over tonight and I am going to cook for her. So I'm going to make my cilantro lime chicken tacos that I've been making with fresh corn on the cob. Um, we are gonna go out later, so we are just going to eat a quick bite here and I am going to make 
these tacos that I've been absolutely obsessed with. So super, super simple, minimal chopping, minimal everything. Um, you are just going to heat a very large pot of water here um, on high until it comes to a boil. And then I'll bring you guys over here. Then I'm just going to peel maybe two ears of corn. I'll peel two ears of corn, which should be good. <laughs> I got ready then because I'm going out, like I said. Okay, so I have my olive oil heating up in the pan. Then I'm going to take some chopped yellow onion. And going to saute that until they are a light golden brown. First, we are going to add seasoning though. So I'm going to take the Tastefully Simple Season Salt. You guys have seen this a ton already. And then just some fresh uh, cracked pink salt. So next, I'm going to pick off some fresh cilantro that I'm going to use for in the chicken. So this is my little garden situation I have going on. I'm gonna pick some off here. All right, so I just put the packet of chicken, ground chicken on the stove. I'm going to break this up a little bit and mix it all around. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic salt. Or actually, I'm going to add garlic powder. And we are just going to let this cook fully through on medium to high heat. The chicken is cooking. Over here I have my fresh picked cilantro. I'm going to finely chop this up and then I have some um, green onions that I'm also going to chop up. have one lime. I'm going to use this entire lime here. All right. So our chicken is looking pretty good. I'm going to now squeeze one lime into here. And then I'm also going to take our cilantro and chopped green onions and put them in here as well. The corn looks absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to take a knife and cut it off the cob. Chicken is done. I just have it sitting over there on the burner, um, just keeping warm. We have our corn in the bowl here, which we are just going to pick and top off on the tacos. The taco shells that we are using are these flour tortillas from La Banderita, if that's how you say it. I just got these at Wegmans and they come with 20 tortillas. They are soft shell. Either I would top with guac, which I do not have. I was going to make fresh guac, but I just didn't have time. But I love this black bean salsa, black bean and corn salsa from Wegmans. This tastes really good on top too. So just a little bit of this. Also I have chipotle garlic or garlic chipotle salsa from Trader Joe's. That would taste really good on top too. Um, and then I'm going to put just a little bit of avocado on each slice. So that's what the situation is. And I'm just waiting for Elda to get here and then we are going to assemble everything, have some drinks, and I'll show you guys the finished result. Hello so guys, we've made it to Friday, the last day of the week in which I will be sharing the recipes for dinners. I know that I started this on Tuesday night, I think it was. 
pretty sure it was Tuesday night. If not, it was Wednesday night. So it was only a few days, but I'm just carrying it out until tonight and then ending it here um, because I have no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow. So um, this will be the last dinner recipe for the week. And this is like more of a chill laid back dinner night because I actually don't really have a plan for anything. So I'm going to take you guys through my closet stitch here. Closet stitch, I mean my, what is this called? A fridge. So I have a piece of chicken in here that needs to get used up. I was trying to go through the fridge and see what needs to get used up more so. Um, I have some green beans here that my mom gave me when I came back, so they need to get used up as well. Obviously, I'm not going to be using all of them right now. Let's see what else we have. Especially some garlic and like olive oil, maybe a little bit of vegan butter in the green beans. And I think we'll just do a pretty basic dinner tonight. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. I think I'm going to do, um, from my little garden over here, I'm going to pick some fresh rosemary and I'm going to make some rosemary chicken with some garlic and butter um, green beans as a side. Okay, so over here I have a medium pan. I'm going to put this on medium heat and take some olive oil. And then we are going to take our piece of chicken here. And then, I don't know how I'm gonna season it, so let's see. Oh, we're gonna do the rosemary, so. Let's pick some fresh rosemary. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the Tastefully Simple Season Salt, some fresh parsley, and some fresh cracked salt and that's what we will season that with and then I'm just going to cover it with a piece of foil and let it cook all the way through. I'm just going to take some green beans out. We are going to take a small pan, put this on medium heat, take some olive oil, and then I'm going to wash off the green beans and then put them on the pan here. I'm going to take a little bit of the salt again, seasoned salt, and then just some pink salt. So I'm going to let both of those things cook for the time being. I'm going to throw some foil over the green beans. And then, lastly, the last thing I'll do is just I'll go in and put some garlic in there when the green beans are almost done. Dinner is ready. These smell amazing. So yummy. Then for drink for a drink tonight, I'm going to be having the Dreaming Tree Pinot Noir, which is a super super yummy red wine. Pretty big glass, I would say. <laughs> oh God, these glasses throw me off because I never know how much I'm actually pouring. This is dinner, and thank you for watching. 
that's the last dinner of the week here thank you guys so much for watching um this entire week's worth of healthy for the most part basically healthy except aside from the drinks healthy dinner um ideas this is the most creative that i've gotten with my dinner meals um, in a very long time because typically i don't stay creative for more than just like a few days in a row like i usually drop off then um, so this is kind of like my drop off, but the rosemary and the garlic shallot um, green beans made it a little bit more fancy. So if you want to like add, I don't really eat potatoes anymore, but like if you want to do, if you want to do like a, what is it? Garlic roasted mashed potatoes or something like that. That would be super good with this meal that I just made here. But anyway, you can make all of the modifications that you want to the meals that I showed you guys. But yeah, they're very much protein packed, um, nutrient dense meals. That's kind of like my go-to for any sort of meal that I'm eating. I always try to make it as protein packed and as nutrient dense as possible. So that is all for my little healthy meals. If you guys enjoyed this video, this is the first time I'm doing something like this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. I can always do lunch ideas, which would be probably, I told you guys I do leftovers for lunch typically, but I can do like salads for you guys or just like lighter eats, like lighter plates. For lunch ideas, I could do breakfast. Breakfast is my absolute favorite meal of the day. So I would be more than happy to do that for you guys as well. But let me know if you wanna see more like little series like this. I'd be more than happy to do them for you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will talk to you guys next time.